Many people will be hanging out by the grill for the holiday. You want to make sure you're preparing your food safely. Joining me now over Zoom is Susan Hill with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Susan, thanks so much for joining us for the special edition of Alabama Live. Thank you for inviting me. How are you? I'm doing well. What are some steps that we need to take if we're cooking food or working with food for the holiday? The first thing is wash your hands. There's so many things that live on our hands that we don't think about. Wash your hands. Um, what if you don't have running water? Take an extra bottle of water. This way you can wash your hands. You can dry them with the towels that you bring that you're going to use later. Also, um, make sure if you don't have a bottle of water, you have hand wipes or hand sanitizer, things of this nature, making sure that uh, your hands are clean. If you have fruits and vegetables, make sure that you wash them, bring that extra bottle of water. Um, preparing your meats, that's the number one thing. You want to make sure that you have a separate cooler for everything that you bring. You want, I know everybody's gonna have a fresh hamburger or a fresh steak. Make sure that you are bringing a separate cooler. You don't want any cross contamination. You don't want anything that's going to ruin the, maybe the watermelon or the salad that you've brought. You want to make sure that is um, separate. You don't want to contaminate. Also, when you are cooking your food, pack that food thermometer. You can get a food thermometer at any local store um, department store, you want to make sure that your temperatures, your hamburger, you want to cook your hamburger to 160 degrees. You want to cook it at this temperature for 15 seconds. You want to make sure that your chicken is cooked to 165 degrees for um, 15 seconds. Steaks, 145 degrees after three minutes. After the 145 degrees, let them set for three minutes, take the temperature. They have to be at 145 degrees. You don't want to make anyone sick from what you have cooked. So what do you do after you get through cooking? It's going to be hot this weekend. You want to make sure you eat within the hour of you cooking the food. Um, normally the rule is two hours, but it's going to be so hot. It's going to be 90 degrees and above. You want to make sure that everyone eats at the same time. So you won't have anybody getting sick. You want to make sure that um, little hands, little children, they want to help make sure their, <clears throat> excuse me, make sure their hands are washed. Make sure that they are not going to <clears throat> be, become sick because nobody wants to get sick during the firework show. Your leftovers, make sure that your leftovers, if you have any, bring them, you're gonna have several coolers, but make sure those coolers have ice in them to keep those foods cool before you prepare. Make sure you have a cooler to um, have your fruits and vegetables, your salads, the ready to eat foods cool. And if you have leftovers, which planning ahead of time will decrease this, you want to make sure that you have a way to cool down those foods and keep them in that cooler with ice. If you don't like ice, you can have um, ice packs. Make sure that they're clean as well. You want everything clean. Also, planning. Make sure you just plan for those folks that are going to be there. Um, less waste, less reduction of um, the chance of getting food poisoning. And um, you, that way you can have a safe holiday. All right, Susan, a lot of good information here. Thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. You're very welcome.